Hey everybody, happy Saturday from uh, me, Wessel, out here in Los Angeles. It's another beautiful day. We got blue skies and of course warm concrete that I'm going to be walking on in a bit. Um, so yeah, another day, another vlog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I was going through my room and trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about um, like after yesterday's, which was kind of interesting. And I struck upon an idea to go almost, well, pretty much back to the beginning of this whole abstract phase that I'm in right now. And it's kind of interesting for me to see and it's going to be interesting for me to walk through and talk through uh, some of the thoughts behind basically what started my whole painting movement. So yeah, let's get to it. Let me put the pieces out and uh, yeah, let me get to it. All right, so doo -doo -doo -doo, this is it. Completely, I guess in so many ways, unexciting. It's black and white. It's on freaking craft paper and it looks like an utter mess. And you know what? That's completely okay, because it was the start of everything, pretty much. Um, well, there's other paintings before, there's always a build-up of a cycle, but I'd say the biggest piece would probably be this one, I said, this is where something different started. Um, when actually this piece started out with something completely different, and ended up this was a creation through frustration, um, by just letting go and saying, screw it. Because um, underneath there, there's actually things that are written down, um, different feelings that I have inside my... I was feeling at the time, and I was just like, I don't know why I was doing that, but I just did that, and I'm like, what can I do with this? And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a moment that's really difficult to recall other than an emotion. Because what started, I think I was trying to draw a face or something like that to do portraits and paint, and it just didn't work out. And I, it just, I just had to write something down, so I just used the paint, and I think with the finger painting, wrote some... Yeah, some stuff underneath there, and then I added color, or black and white, and just kind of mashed it together, and just used all my emotion, crumpled it, scrambled it, and that's what came out. And so what that turned into is that I wanted to do and say something a little bit more to myself, and so this one, I just basically started with um, the words that I wanted to say myself, with nothing, nothing before that that I just screwed up on, because I just wanted to get that emotion out. And so underneath there, under all the different layers that I smashed, like crumpled and like squished all together it's writing but yeah like you'll notice from here like it's all smashed and everything together it's like pretty much black and white well it is black and white minus the random splashes that i got on there at that time but yeah like you can see the beginnings of thinking about backgrounds and then you know thinking about how to make energy in it and this is actually the piece i'm about to show you which these inspired or got me too, which is what I think was my first huge step, like in working with color and stuff like that. It's like you just begin to see two different or three different things coming together. And then those turned into these, these five pieces. Now each of them has a crazy different energy, I think, to them, like in the motion. But I began to really muck about with color and stuff like that. And this is me beginning to figure out how to use all the different tools that are available. Like, not even just all the tools, the things that I could think of at the time. Like, my whole, like, repertoire was going to the, hunt, the dollar store, not 100 yen store. That's a fallback from when I used to live in Japan. But, like, I had no real tools, no real ideas. And, like, you see from, like, the first two pieces that I showed you before, like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but... To me, there was this weird energy that I had to like kind of start to get out because it's like hard to describe. Like everybody's always asking me like, how do you feel? Like, how are you doing and all this other jazz? And it was like, I was never able to fully express it, you know? And then with these ones, like I really started to go through those emotions. Trucks or buses going by. Really started to go through those emotions and be like, you know what? I'm just gonna express them. This is my least favorite one, by the way. It's really gnarly, but in a way, it, it is what it is, because I screwed up, tried something again, screwed up, tried something again, and I just kept on trying, because that's kind of what I do. And it was just like, I began to see different things that were really describing how I was feeling inside of my head, like describing the different connections that were going on, or like, how do you describe like an idea or a thought that's going through your head? Like, and so these were the pieces where that began to actually happen. Because um, the other one that used like written words or whatever to kind of express, like what was going on and then I just kind of blurred over the top of them, right? And it was it was less less defined, less thought out. And these ones, like while mostly like the idea of 
step in the shade. I'm standing outside in that hot concrete I mentioned earlier. But it was like, I don't know, it just felt like something different to me. And it was like, I, I stepped out from that, or stepped forward from that first thing. And it's like, instead of, yeah, it was just like focusing in on those emotions and learning how to express them. And this is, it's like the cool thing about being ignorant of what I was doing is just like the raw energy that I was able to put into them without worrying about things like technique or like mostly I was just trying to get the colors that felt right to me with the emotion and like what I was thinking and yeah. But it's, it, it, it's like if you look at my current work, the roots of everything are starting from like those two pieces that I showed you at the very beginning and these five here. And I think there's still two, three other pieces that have a huge impact on my whole like abstract movement that I've been messing with for like the last four or five months. But um, those those needed a whole post in themselves because of uh, all of that. What came about because of that? Yeah, these are just like done on like uh, I forget like 140 weight or 100, 140 weight um, archival paper or whatever like that. Like I, I had no idea what I was doing. Like I soaked these in paint. Like if you go and you try and like touch them here, sorry. It's like there's actually like crazy texture to them as well. Like I love going down. Like different angles show you different things too, but you know these weren't necessarily trying to represent, like, be. Uh, they were trying to be specific emotions, but they weren't trying to represent anything physically. Like, is it a building, or is this a hat, or is it like a car, or is it like a woods or forests or animals or none of that? It was just literally blah. This is how I feel, and it was great because I well I still have a lot of emotions that I need to express and stuff like that, but these. It was like finally I was able to vent in a way and it was it was so crazy like to cut the paper and just be like this is how I feel about it. and it's just like yeah. So it's like everything started review back. <laughs> this piece like right here. Being like just mashing it all together. And it's like over the next like 50 or 60 pieces that I did, there was all these different things, like I moved back and forth later on between canvas and paper for very specific reasons to try different things. So, but that's going to be for a different blog post. So these are, between those two first pieces which started it all and these five pieces that were the next starting of it all, it seems to be a lot of that stuff, like this was the next step of this step. But, alright, yeah, so I hope uh, this gives you a little bit of insight into like these five, or like kind of, uh, well not just these five, seven pieces. But kind of an idea where my abstract like feelings all came from like where that whole pure emotional strush of painting like that people make fun of because they're like oh man anybody can do it and it's just so easy and it's like well yeah no because you have to there's a lot more behind it so that's also again a different topic for a different blog why should you respect certain abstract artists and all that other jazz man even looking back at these today i find them so cool because it's just like in that ignorance of not knowing anything, you can do so much, and it's like, the more you learn, sometimes the more you become constricted, like, you're able to do different stuff, but, yeah. Alright, so, let's go back and close this out. I hope you enjoyed looking. Alright, make sure I'm not covering the mic, that's a problem. I know I need to get a better mic so that I can, you guys can hear me all better, I apologize for that. Um, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, for me, it was kind of interesting going back and looking at these pieces. It's, it's like I have so much crap sitting in my room, I'd never really go back because I'm always trying to move forward because, you know, there's always the pressures to be able to do something new and better and catch somebody's eye and learn more and do more and, yeah, and of course make money because <laughs> you need to support yourself. That's, that's the thing about being an artist is like you can't just make art. It's like there's a lot of other responsibilities of two, of course. But that's a whole, once again, different topic for a different blog. Um, but yeah, those were like the first basic pieces of that's sort of my whole abstract painting fiasco that I'm currently going through that makes absolutely no sense to me, but also at the same time makes complete sense to me. Yeah, art is a crazy thing. So um, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic uh, weekend. It is Saturday here. I don't know when you guys are going to see this or when you all are going to see this. Um, but yeah, no matter what kind of day you're having, I hope you have a great one. I hope it gets better if it's that bad. If it's great, good. I hope it gets great, etc. Um, and remember, please, if you can, uh, if you become a part of my Patreon, woo, Patreon community, um, in any way, it's awesome. Um, collect the art that uh, hopefully will be worth something, some money someday. Well, not hopefully, it will. You just got to keep going. So, And if you don't want to support me that way, there's also plenty of merch on my site, uh, iamwhistle.com. Lots of my abstracts out there that are on really cool bags and t-shirts and stuff like that. So 
yep, always got to make the pitch because it's important, like I said, as an artist to also be a business person. So um, if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more of it, um, help on out. So I hope you all have, once again, a great day.